Salway. We are starting book two from the AP syllabus. And you have your copy of FAR handy, or the handout I've given you. And we don't read from the beginning of book two, and we do skip around some. So I've included some summaries. These are most of the time taken from FAR. He provides little summaries in his notes. So it's helpful to keep our context in the book as a whole. So we remember in book one, we met Aeneas and he shipwrecked on the shores of Carthage. Uh, he met Dido in the temple of Juno. You remember some of the, the Trojans from the other ships made a speech to Dido. She told them that the Trojans were welcome. And then Aeneas and Achates suddenly, at that moment, stepped out of their cloud and Dido met Aeneas himself. Dido invited Aeneas and the Trojans to a banquet, and in book two, they are all at the banquet, and Dido has asked Aeneas to tell the story of the fall of Troy and his wanderings, and Aeneas says even though he is very sad to do so, he will tell them. And it's a long story. It takes two books, books two and three, Book two is his relating of the fall of Troy, and book three, he describes his journeys that he does over the Mediterranean until he's blown to the shores of Carthage. So I encourage you to read the little summaries just so you can keep your context, and then we'll be reading the Latin for certain selections. Lines through 1 through 39 uh, are left out, and here's our summary of what's happening on the fields of Troy. Uh, we know that you know Aeneas has been asked to tell the story, and so he does that. Now we move to Troy. All the rest is going to be Aeneas's narrative. After 10 years of unsuccessful effort, the Greeks, worn out by the long siege and lacking confidence in their strength and courage, resort to strategy. It's going to be the Trojan horse. They pretend to flee but hide in the neighboring island of Tinnitus. So most of the Trojans are in their ships behind an island so they cannot be seen by the Trojans, leaving behind an enormous wooden horse in which are concealed the bravest of the Greek leaders. After the departure of the Greeks, the Trojans rush out to see the deserted camp. The more prudent among the men urge the Trojans to destroy the wooden horse Laocoon takes the lead in this proposal and strikes the side of the horse with his spear. So let's go ahead and move into the narrative, picking it up with Laocoon into the Latin. Primus iban tomnes magna comitante caterva, Laocoon arden summa decurrit abarque, et procur o oh, miseri quite tant insania quives, creditis savectos hostes, aut ulla putatis dona carere dolis danaum, si notus ulixes? So at this point, Laocaun comes down to the horse from the citadel, it says, and he is going to begin his speech to convince the Trojans to destroy the horse his unsuccessful speech. Let's start with Primus first, and it describes Laocoon. He was first ante, ante omnes, ante omnes, before all, and the ibi is there, means there, but far says you can also translate it as then. It might sound a little better to say then here. Then, he, or Laocoon, first before everyone. Ardens, another word that describes Laocoon as a present active participle, burning with passion uh, to denounce this horse. Burning. De curit, here's your verb, runs down. A summa arche, ab summa arche from the highest citadel, or the highest point in the city. Ab summa arche. And he is, and this is an ablative absolute, oop, not there, magna comitante caterva. 
Magna Comitante Caterua, which is translated like an ablative absolute. Here's an adjective, a noun, and this is your present active participle. You know it's present because it has the unt in it. Present active participle. With a great crowd ga uh, following or gathering or crowding. Really, you could say with a great crowd crowding. And I do like the alliteration here. Comitante caterwa. So one more time. Then, leoka on first before everyone with a great crowd thronging about or crowding. Burning runs down from the highest citadel. And from afar, this adverb, and you got to put in klamat. It doesn't have a verb of speaking, but klamat is a pretty good guess. He shouts, O miseri, quae tant insania kiwes. O, this is vocative, so I'm going to use green here. O oh, miserable citizens. Vocative. Quae tanta insania. What insanity so great? And you gotta say est. Is this? What is this great madness? What is this great insanity? Are you guys nuts? You've just been fighting the Greeks for 10 years. You would consider to take this thing in the walls? Quae tanti insania kiwes. Creditis awectos hostes. Credo, credere, believe. Do you believe? The subject is vos. Tis is your ending for second person plural. Do you believe, hostes, the enemy awectos, and you got to put an essay, has been carried away, meaning by their boats. Do you believe the enemy to be carried away? Or, this is an indirect statement here because a credit, credo is a verb of the head, and then you would use an infinitive with indirect statement. A verb of the head, accusative, and then an infinitive. Of course, the essay is missing, but you got to supply it. Do you believe that the enemy has been carried away? Aut ula putatis dona carere dolis danaum? Or do you think, again a second person plural, from puto putare, or do you think that ula dona, that any gifts, this is neuter plural from donum, that any gifts, danaum of the Greeks, of the Greeks, Carere dolis. This is a complementary infinitive with puto. Lack dolis. Tricks. And I believe that that's ablative. I believe carere takes the ablative. Seek notus ulixes. Seek notus ulixes. Is Ulysses, meaning Odysseus, the chief trickster of the Greeks is a Ulysses. You got to put "est" in here. Is Ulysses so known to you? That modifies Ulysses. Is Ulysses seek in this way known? And you got to put in "wobis" to you guys. In other words, with, is this characteristic of Ulysses for them to give up and give us a present? Is Ulysses so known to you? The answer, of course, is no. It's a rhetorical sort of question here. Okay, so one more time, I'll just run through that whole thing. Then, first, before everyone, with a great crowd crowding around, Laocaon burning runs down from the highest citadel, and from afar he shouts, O oh, miserable citizens, what great, such great madness is this? What is this so great madness? Do you all believe that the enemy has been carried away? Or do you think that any gifts of the Danians lack tricks? Dolis comes from dolum, which means a trick. Or, or dolus. 
dolus, I mean trick. Is Ulysses so known to you?